Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we'll be making a punch art poinsettia flower. I'm so excited to show you this. It utilizes our Build a Blossom punch and, um, and an embossing folder. So a little extra detail by running it through the embossing folder. And we'll be um, just concentrating on making the flower here at this video. So let's get started making this poinsettia. So to begin to make our poinsettia flower, what we need is a variety of punches, not too many. Um, we need the Blossom Builder punch and we're going to be using this leaf image here. I'm using the one and a quarter inch circle punch for the base and a half inch circle punch and that is for the middle. And for the one that we're going to do here today, we are going to do a slight variation so that we can get two looks today so that you kind of get two for the price of one. Okay, so what I found I liked as far as the number of petals is 14 per flower. So a two inch strip of real red is what I use the color here today. And the two inch strip is great because you can um, slide this in and really maximize your, um, your strip along the way. So again, I'll have this face you, you for a little bit, but you come in on the left hand side so that you maximize your strip of paper again. Okay. And you do get all sorts of little scrappy um, shards of paper that are all over the place when you do this one, but we'll just kind of brush that off to the side. Okay, so that's number 14. And for this project, I like using Tombow. Tombow, and you could use sticky strip very easily, but I like using Tombow because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room before it adheres permanently in case I want to move my leaves around or my petals around for my poinsettia. So I'm just going to start um, layering these in kind of the point into the center and I'm going to leave just a little bit of a gap in between almost touching but not quite. I tried eight and it was just a little too um, too crowded so I liked the look of seven. Put our seven bottom layers here. Let's see there's six and seven. And um, I've done this with um, like a, when I make it I actually use red so that it really blends in, but I wanted to be able to show you the contrast and that's why we're using Daffodil Delight on the circle. Okay, so there's my, um, my first layer of petals. Now I'm gonna come in with the Tombow again, put a little bit for our second layer of petals and we'll go, we'll put the second layer in between the first layer. Okay, so again, put that inside. Go around again with the second layer. Well, for heaven's sakes. Made a couple of these here tonight and um, I should have washed off my hands a little bit before I started again because as we know, Tombow is nice and sticky when you get it on your fingers. But you can see how these layers are coming together. Okay, so there's that look. If I can get it to <laughs> get off of my fingers. There we go. Okay, so again for this flower here, what I would have done is put that um, in between. So that's, this is the poinsettia without it being embossed. And then this is um, what it looks like with, when you add just a little bit of extra detail. Okay. All right, so for ours, um, my next step is we'll run it through the Big Shot and we'll be right back and do that step. The embossing folder that we're going to use today, I don't know if you can see it, that probably looks a little better or you can see it better. It's called Snowburst. It's new in the Holiday Mini, 2011 Holiday Mini. Love, love, love this Snowburst. And we'll take our poinsettia. Again, this is the one that I had previously made. And we're just going to put it right in there and we're going to emboss all of the layers at once. So we'll put the embossing folder through our acrylic sandwich. 
and I've got the platform. Run it through the big shot. One of my all-time favorite tools. And then we get this wonderfully embossed poinsettia. And you would probably want to let your Tombow dry just a little more than what I did here. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. Okay, so we have our embossed poinsettia. And I'm going to take my paper piercer and I'm going to roll and pick up just the top level or layer. And we'll kind of curl it under a little bit, just like you would if you were doing a curling ribbon. Get the barrel side here. You could do this with a pencil, a paintbrush. I'm just going to use the paper piercer on the next um, step, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and use that. Again, holding the center as I'm doing it. And you could definitely um, do this with both layers. I'm just going to pick up the top. And that one I glued a little bit too close. Okay, so here you can see it's giving it a little more dimension. Okay, I would probably fuss with that a little bit, but for the sake of time, we'll stop right there. Okay, and I've got some um, basic pearls here. And because of the project that I'm going to put it on here, um, the card that you had seen in the front, or the first part of the video, I want to um, antique these pearls. And to do so, what I did is I added a little color. I've got some chocolate chip. That's the brown that's going to match the project. So I've got my stamp and spot here. I love my spots. And a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to rub that, the ink, over top of the pearls. Okay, so it slightly changes the color. Again, I, I've got the brown because I want some antique -y look to them. And I'm going to put a couple of this next size on it as well. Okay, so we'll get those. So that's, that's I love, love doing that. It's a way of getting that same tones of the pearls in your projects. Okay, so i um, got the paper piercer. And I'm going to start with the little ones. Pick up this loose one here, see if, see if I can. might just have it on my fingers. Put a little pearls in the middle here and build that up. So maybe I'll grab my snips. Sometimes I can make it work with one and sometimes the other. Okay, so we'll put some basic pearls in here and I'll make the pearls be the center of the flower. This go around instead of instead of the paper just so that I can show you a couple of different looks. Okay, so you can continue to build up the, the pearls in the middle for as many as you want. So I'll continue to do that and be right back. Okay, so I have as many pearls on it as what I am going to do right now. I probably would keep building that up a little bit, but I thought we'd stop from the now. <laughs> and now I'm ready to put it on a project. So I've got three dimensionals on here, some foam dots, and I've made an easel card. And so my poinsettia is going to be front and center and there we go. Oops, get my easel to work a little better. There we go. Alright, so a cute little easel card embellishment, but you can put those poinsettias on anything that you'd like to. This is a petal cone um, die. You know, please see my blog. Uh, I use this as a table marker, like a place setting marker, with all sorts of different options that you can use on that. Again, a little embellishment for your cards. How cute on a scrapbook page to build up some poinsettias. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me with the punch art of our poinsettia using the Blossom Builder Punch, and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye-bye.